Cole the man said 2k24 needs to get rid of the city and go back to dedicated park servers which I 100% agree with back in the day we would have thought that the city concept was cool but it just didn't play out the way we thought it would it's been three years now and it's time for 2k to change things up so I think it would be a great idea to go back and try something that works so well so guys whatever you got to do make sure that like button is blue hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's get right into the news today we're going to be talking about multiple things including 2k24 for one of the first times now this is one of the most important tweets of the entire entire year gameplay related this guy added baluba and said question on shot timing we all know our shots slow down when stamina gets lowered we also know that shots speed up on contest how does that work when your stamina is low when shooting contested shots does it speed up the slower shot trying to understand which is a very important question mike wayne the gameplay director the guy who decides all the major things on gameplay responded to that and this is what he said yeah they'll more or less cancel each other out do you guys not see i've talked about it many times how horrible the shooting system is this year on 2k23 in my opinion now that i've thought about it could be the worst shooting system in any 2k of all time i'm not saying the game is the worst but the shooting system is absolutely terrible i responded and said i always love a good old critical thinking about each of my shots and what the speed will be every play oh this speed i just hit 60 percent stamina now i'm gonna have a slower shot but wait there's a guy close to me so now it's gonna be a faster shot and you never fully know when it's gonna actually count as a contest like an open versus wide open the open makes your shot faster a guy could breathe on you and it's gonna make it open so because that guy is even close to me now my shot's faster oh i have 70 percent stamina on this shot i'm gonna get a fast shot oh and there's a guy close to me so now it's gonna be a super fast shot like why why do you have to do all that to know what your shot speed is? I said, if by some odd reason you keep this system in the game, which I pray to God he doesn't, how about once we reach the threshold on stamina that changes the shot speed, the stamina changes colors or something, so we're not playing a guessing game. If 61% stamina is a fast shot and 60% is a slow shot, how do we know before the shot? Now, of course, every time I talk about this, if I don't show this, I'm gonna get 100 comments, it takes skill, it's skill gap, badge plug, you're just not good at the game. I, I shoot 65% from three. Trust me, it's not a skill gap. It's not just because I know how to shoot and time it does not mean I can't still complain about it. It is a terrible shooting system. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea and it has to go for 2K24. One of the most important things, if I had to name things that 2K24 shouldn't have that 2K23 does, that would be at very close to the top of the list. If you know basketball, prize picks is a great way to make money. All you gotta do is sign up with the link in the description, select NBA, and you can do points, rebounds, assists. It doesn't matter. Whether you think someone's gonna have a good game or a bad game, that's the part about it. Then they also have random deals like this that just popped up. Kyrie Irving was cut down from 25 points to 21. So if you think he's gonna have more than 21 points, you click more. If you think he's gonna have less than 21, you click less. Then you only have to get one other right to make back three three times the amount of money you put in. So Brooke Lopez, if I think he's gonna have more than 18 tonight, boom, I click more and that's it. Literally that easy. In less than one minute, you can make three times the money you put in, guys. Link is in the description. Thank you, PrizePix, for sponsoring, and let's get back into the video. Anyway, 2K did something good recently. There was a patch that came out, and people that were a lot taller than the defenders in the paint were missing shots that they shouldn't be missing. 2K came in, and they corrected that with this chart right here. So if you're a lot taller than the defender in the paint, you should be making a lot more shots now. But 2K Intel went to Twitter and said, what y'all been on? Is anyone still playing 2K? And I said, oh yeah, I'm grinding, about to hit level two. Guys, I'm like level eight right now. At the time I was level one, I'm like level eight, like 10 days into the season because in my opinion, because like I told you guys, you know, if you get on to hoop just to hoop, that's completely fine, but I got nothing to grind for. What am I gonna get, a pocket bike? plus one badge that I get every season like bro 2k has to put good rewards in the game I don't know what's going on with the seasons but it's been looking rough lately solo said the fact that we haven't had a basketball gods event or a win-based event in 2k in the last two years is insane to me but 2k doesn't ban a lot of the boosters that are winning events okay to burst your guys bubble there's a lot of people that win the events basically the only people that win them are from boosting and it doesn't necessarily have to be, oh, 21-0 every game. They do this thing called trading, but it's a long story. Anyway, it's tough out here. Now, I went to Twitter and I said, NBA 2K24 needs cross-platform, gameplay rewards, park leaderboards, and a good legend reward. That's something that we 100% need. Cross-platform is something that has to be in 2K24. Even though I'm aware of 2K being 2K, I would be shocked 
and this sounds crazy because it's 2K. I would be shocked if 2K24 does not have crossplay. I mean, there's so many games now that have it. Fortnite, Apex, Call of Duty, and not just that, but PGA Tour, owned by 2K. The Cheeto said it's crazy how PGA Tour has crossplay, but NBA don't. Like, literally, their own game, a different sports game, golf, has cross-platform now someone told me that maybe they put cross-platform on pga 23 to try it out to test it out because it's a lot less people on that game than 2k 23 and then they can put it in 2k 24 so i pray that's what they're doing because 2k man we need something we need something to get this game lit again and we're you know we're separated by multiple games we don't have cross-platform it's tough out here it's tough out here, you know what I'm saying? So, Krillix said no more seasons plus bring back rookie to legend. So, look, obviously I would pick rookie to legend over seasons if we only had to pick one, but I do think it's a good idea for 2K to have both of them in the game because there's a lot of people that can't earn those really great rewards at the high tiers of the rookie to legend race, you know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people that play much further than hitting level 40 every season, like content creators, like people that want to only grind 2K, you know, stuff like that. Give us actual good rewards back. Full-time 1v1 on next gen, revamped market from 22. Why does 2K23 next gen not have a all the time 1v1 court, yet 2K22 next gen did, 23 doesn't, but current gen does, like, come, like bro, it, it, it doesn't even make any sense at this point. Now, look, we're going to continue on that topic right there. You guys can let me know what's a good idea for 2K24 to have as well. But the main thing I wanted to talk about, as well as, you know, the other 2K24 things we've already talked about, comment down below. I made it far if you guys have made it this far. But is I'm worried for 2K24. Now, what I mean by that is there's so many things in this game, like the different shot timings, like 2K changing shooting every single patch, like changing all these things. They have not even got 2K23 right, and it is March, guys. They haven't got the game right. They didn't get 2K22 even close to right, okay? Let's let's get there, first of all. Now, I don't think 2K23 is the worst 2K of all time. Some people do. I think that the game is okay, it's good slash okay. It's not great. I've been saying, you know, this the entire year. Like, the game is borderline next to okay slash great. It's not bad, in my opinion. It's okay, but it's nothing special. And 2K23 is not done. They can't get this right. So how are they going to get 2K24 right if they haven't even got this game right? I am worried for 2K24. I'm scared for that game. And by the way, I already know there's people that have commented it because I haven't got to say it yet. When I say the different shot timings is bad, I'm not saying that every single shot you take should be the same shot timing. If you have lower stamina, you should have a different, you know, shot, stuff like that. That's completely not what I mean, okay? I'm talking about the 5,000 different shot timings that's in 2K23, and the critical thinking you have to do in millisecond timing to go, okay, this one's gonna be a fast shot, this one's gonna be a slow shot, this guy's behind me, not even close to me, but it's gonna count as open, so my shot's gonna be faster. You know, those stupid things cannot make it into 2k24 and that is something that i am worried about speaking of 2k24 though this guy said no it needs to be matchmaking for all game modes now i don't know necessarily if we should go away from the park idea like cole the man said in the beginning we should go back to dedicated parks but it would be nice to also have dedicated servers like that. Now, it's also something that we have in 2K23, but it's not done correctly. Because I'm not, I know I'm going to get comments like, the good badge, there's 3v3 Pro-Am, there's theater. Yes, but you don't get as much level in there. You don't get as much badge points. Like, nothing is done correctly. You know what I'm saying? You guys that have played it know exactly what I'm talking about. Next one is separate parks instead of a big city. Kind of like we were talking about in the beginning. This is what literally was one of the biggest things that made 2K great in the beginning. And yes, it's not good for 2K to recycle everything that used to be good, but I feel like after all these things we went through, it would be a good try to see if they can get it correctly. Now, once again, just like every other thing that could possibly happen, just because they add that back doesn't mean it's going to be done correctly. Like when there was people saying, you guys complained about affiliations coming back and now you have it and you're complaining, that's because they weren't 
brought back correctly. You see what I'm saying? They were brought back in a city, not a dedicated park. They, they, in 2K22 Next Gen, 2K21, you couldn't really tell even where you were. They all look the same. You know what I'm saying? They did a lot better job this year, but now we're done. It's been three years. It took them three years to get where we're at. It's time to move on, just like they did for 2K15 to 2K17. And you know what I'm saying? They're going to continuously change it. It's been three years. It's time to try something new. Anyway, proximity chat. Where is proximity chat? This is something that Agent Zero, one of the biggest 2K creators of all time, said for many, many years they should do. Look what happened to Warzone. If you guys watch Call of Duty, they added proximity chat. That was a huge thing at the beginning. Of course, Warzone's not going great at the moment, I believe, but there was hundreds of clips that were getting millions of views when Warzone came out because of proximity chat. It's a great idea. Now, I like this one a lot. This guy said they need to make randoms only wreck. I'm tired of getting washed by pro-am teams while my randoms break everything and play no defense i think it would be an amazing idea to have one room in the wreck where when you go in there you are guaranteed to not play with anybody that's squatted up with anybody else and then they figure it out for 2v2 3v3 you know stuff like that because as you guys know they already have some sort of system like that for the wreck except for it's not with randoms if you play with three or less people you're much much less likely to play a full team, four or more people. But if you go in with four or more, you are much, much more likely to play four or more people squatted up, just like they have Bum Wreck, where if you're under 92 overall, they've got a bunch of systems in there already. I think that would be a great idea. I would love to go, go in there and know I'm not going to be playing against a full team. Now, uh, Mary said one game, guys, one game. The 2K community to finally be back together. And I'm going to go ahead and break your heart, guys. If I was a betting man and I put the money on it, I would tell you right now 2K24 is going to be separated once again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I believe there's a very high chance 2K is once again going to split our communities. Not that I want that. But that's probably the sad reality. Luck said, season five is the worst season of 2K23. No good rewards, no good dribble moves, no new gameplay, no new nothing. 2K overcooked this season. What did I just play? Now, you could argue that there was a few dribble moves or something that came out. But besides that, nothing. Nothing. What is wrong with giving some gameplay rewards, which they did. I believe in season three with the double cores, that was the best thing of the entire year that has to come back we got to have gameplay rewards for playing the game come on 2k it's not very hard guys drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new click one of these two videos and i'm out peace